TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 334, and that was, folks, uh, you talk about volatility, man. So I forgot what it was when I started the program. Well, let's say it's a couple hundred. Well, the Dow went into the negative when I was on by two or three, and then guess what? Come roaring back up 334. NASDAQ up 239. S&P's up 64. Gold. Gold contract down $8.90, trading at 1907 an ounce. It's silver down 16 cents. $21.76 an ounce, light sweet crude. Uh, light sweet crude, you know, it looks like it wants to break this consolidation. It's right at the bottom of the consolidation. We're down 331 out here, 7149. Now, we break that consolidation, you're going to be a 64 print inside the uh, oil market. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note. That traded down a, a full point today at 113.21. The 30-year full point plus 31 ticks, almost, almost two full points, 129.19 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 20 ticks, trading 103.57. The Euro out here at 107. The Yen trading at a price point of 134. And the British Pound at 121 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the SPY and, you know, the SPY was up good, six and a half dollars, but when you really look at the chart, it looks like just a sideways move. So what you have out here is that we closed at 391.73. So you're, out, you're over the high of yesterday. I mean, you, you got light, lighter volume, but you're over the high of yesterday. So that's saying it can push a little bit higher. We only you go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX? The three Qs. Well, the three Qs never gave it back, as the SPY did. The three Qs just went one way, but the contraction of volume on the Qs are big. Uh, right now, you are based, you, you, uh, you're going into, why well, are you going to 71 million with 71 million? So it's not that bad, actually. Gold, the gold contract back down with light volume. Yesterday, we did over 450,000 contracts uh, on the way up. On the way sideways to down today, you did 252. And then if we go to King Dollar, you know, King Dollar is just kind of stable going sideways. It looks to me like King Dollar actually could back down a little bit more before it wants to go higher again. Um, have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.